Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Nomad Edition. We are back in our newly improved mobile base, continually improving mobile base, because uh, we're going to be making some more improvements today. But first, I'm going to find a new spot for a new farm, because I think I'm going to... Oh my goodness, look at all of these cows. Oh, you know, all these cows. All these haybots attacking this cow over here, and I'm not... good. You know what? You're on your own, buddy. I'm sorry. The train's getting a little bit, a uh, little bit rough for me over there. <laughs> and there's a forest behind that building, and I'm a little bit nervous to drive close to forests because that's where the farm bots tend to be. But um, I'm gonna plant some broccoli and pineapple tonight, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a risky night for farming. Ooh, here's a good peninsula right here. This is a good spot to build a farm. And I'm also going to try to add an automatic braking system on my uh, mobile base here. In order to do that, I need to figure out, I think I can make cacti is the highest friction thing in survival. And everyone keeps asking me where the wedges are, and I don't know how many times I have to say it. Survival, I can't make wedges in survival. There are, if I go to blocks, it's all blocks. It's just blocks. If I go to parts... Uh, this is the most non-blocky part we have is this I-beam corner. Um, but we have no wedges in survival, so... No, I haven't abandoned wedge gang. Just survival has abandoned wedge gang, okay? <laughs> Alright, so the sun's actually starting to set, so... Wait, what does it take to make these, by the way? Oh, it takes flowers? Well, I only need... I think I need... Oh, no! I don't have enough metal! <laughs> no, I need one more! Can I make any more metal? I can't make any more metal. Okay, I'm... I should have went after those haybots, apparently. Alright, so let's get... Get, uh, let's get some stuff ready for farming then. Oh, I have metal on me. Somehow I didn't realize I had metal directly on me, so I can make enough of those things. All right, another cactus. There we go. Okay, so apparently I only have eight broccoli seeds. Oh my god, I almost made a mistake. It is 22. It is not time to plant just yet. Oh, I need to get my fertilizer too, because I want to fertilize these things right away. So yeah, I'm gonna plant, I only have eight broccoli, but 10 pineapple seeds. How did I only get eight broccoli seeds? I pro I thought I should have gotten twice as many broccoli seeds as I planted broccoli, because I planted five. But somehow, that uh, didn't add up that way. So I have enough fertilizer to fertilize all the broccoli and pineapple. All right, here we go. It is now midnight. It is time to start planting the broccoli and pineapple. All right, and before I even plant the rest of it, which is just going to be normal food stuff, uh, I'm going to fertilize this right away because I need this stuff to grow ASAP. So the rest of it, I'm just making it uh, all the ingredients I need for veggie burgers, pretty much. All right, there we go. So I'll get my beacon and I'll mark this place, but I think I'm gonna stick around for the most part because this is a nice flat spot to build, actually. And you know what? I'm gonna cut this tree down and harvest it for the uh, for the wood. All right, so now I need some pistons. I need two more pistons. I already had two crafted for, I forget why I crafted some pistons and I didn't need as many as I thought I did. But it looks like I've got, actually, oh, good thing I saved the oil and not converted all of it into uh, gas because we need oil for things, apparently. But yeah, look at everything working. Uh, by the way, some of you wanted some windows in this place, which I agree with that. Uh, so let's see, where's my glass? I know that I have glass around somewhere. There we go, 122 glass. Where are the windows gonna be? And I wanna make a door here too. But let's put a window like right here. I think that's a nice spot for a window. How's it look for the outside? I think that looks reasonable enough. I was looking at pictures of RVs and some of them just have like weirdly shaped windows, like smaller windows than you would expect, just up in kind of odd spots. So we'll put one up here too. Is that the same spot? Yeah, I think that's pretty much the same spot. All right, we got a window there. And then what about a bigger window, like right there? Sure, let's go. Let's go with that. Is this okay? Is this okay? D does this meet your approval? All right, so check it out. I've just added some windows to the doors too, because the door used to have no windows on it, and these windows are part of the folding out mechanism. But it actually works amazing, because look at this. It goes just low enough to the ground now that I can walk up without having to jump anymore. I can literally just walk right in the ramp. And then it closes up with a full window. So that's kind of cool. And that leaves me with 10 glass blocks to spare. So that was actually perfect. All right. So now I got uh, my cacti and my pistons. One, two, three, four pistons. So let's see about adding a break. And I hope this even works. 
So I think this is a good spot for the front piston. So we put that right there. I'm probably going to have to upgrade these pistons. Well, maybe not. This goes up to, oh, maybe not. The length is actually pretty good. Hopefully the strength of these pistons are going to be acceptable though. Oh, by the way, I'm going to try to paint this thing up today, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough paint for it, to be honest. I'm going to have to get some flowers or something because I know you guys are thinking it and I'm thinking it too. This thing looks terrible in the default wood color. All right, so if these are, I'm going to set these up to a switch for now just to get the, just to be able to manually control them. But I am going to have these hooked up to my seat. So when I get out of my seat and everything opens up, it is also going to put itself, push itself up with these. All right, so what is the length that I, oh, these are not strong enough. And I know that if you upgrade them to a different level, I'm pretty sure they also get stronger. So I'm going to put them on four length. If you look closely, as soon as I, as soon as I get to three, that's when it starts to touch the ground and lift up on the suspension. So four is probably going to be where they take over more friction than the wheels. All right, so these are all level one pistons right now. So let's find a uneven spot of terrain and let's see if they make a difference for us when it comes to sliding on the ground. And am I, am I really in a flat area right now? Hey, I'm at Scrap City. I was totally unaware of where I was on the map until just now. I am apparently at Scrap City. We could hunt some farm bots if we wanted to. But uh, let's steer clear of Scrap City for now. And I just want to find myself a nice hill to try to park on. All right, here we go. This is an excellent spot. Look at how much I'm sliding here. It's not a super steep hill or anything. It's just a slight decline. So now if I get out of my seat, I'm still sliding. So let's get some component kits and upgrade these things. Oh yeah, that definitely makes them stronger. I'm gonna upgrade them twice each to level three. All right, we're definitely lifting up now, but are we actually off the ground yet? I don't think so. Let's go up to six. Are these even strong enough? I don't think they're strong enough. You know what? I am not impressed with the cactuses. This is doing way worse than I was expecting it to. And man, I'm just going to upgrade these to- you're, We're just going to go for max level piston then. All right, I think I finally found the sweet spot. Six range at three speed on a max piston can lift up the left side of my vehicle. Because if I go a lower speed, it actually lowers the strength, as you can see. But at the higher speed I go, then the stronger, oh my goodness, the stronger it is. Three speed, six length seems to be able to lift up the wheels. Let's try it on this side. Three speed at six. I don't know, I don't know how good it really is, to be honest. I'm kind of, I expected more. I really, this was a really common suggestion too, and I had been planning to do this since my last vehicle, the vehicle before this one. But uh, the hang tank is just so heavy that it seems to not really make that much of a difference. But any moment now, our crop should be sprouting and we should be able to get everything we need without uh, a raid. And here it is, pineapple and broccoli, high tier cropage right here. And uh, unfortunately, this is not gonna be enough to get any of the guns that we're wanting yet. And we are gonna have to take a break from Another day to take a break from planting because we don't want any major raids. Uh, we don't want to take any risks with major raids coming in. All right, the farm is all picked up. We have almost a whole minute to spare. We've actually, this is actually a, a quicker one than normal despite having our high tier crops. So what we got is, look, we have 23 pineapple seeds, which is good because we need more pineapple than we do broccoli for these guns. Um, so the next harvest might get us enough to get the guns. There might be tape bots. Oh, if there's tape bots, that's really bad because they can shoot from distance. So I'm definitely backing up from this raid. Whoa, there we go. They just spawned in just now. All right, let's take a look. What kind of raid is this? Do I only see two hay bots total? Two hay bots, four greenies? I can manage that. All right, whoa, they're all coming after me at the same time. Hold on now, hold on now. Okay, there we go. This is interesting. Interesting, uh, interesting AI going on here. They seem a little indecisive. What are they? It's like they were just fighting each other. Did you see that? <laughs> All right, that was a way like low tier raid compared to what I was expecting, to be honest. All right, let's check our pineapple and broccoli total because if I remember correctly, I need 40 broccoli and 50 pineapple. And right now we are at 17 pineapple and 15 broccoli. So I do think that one more harvest of all of the seeds that I got, if I have enough uh, soil to plant them all, I think that'll do it. And I can also start making myself some more veggie burgers. 
All right, so next up, I want to start painting this thing. At least put like a red base coat down. I have 32 paints. That's definitely not that much, unfortunately, but hopefully I can at least get the all of the wood painted. I don't know. There's a lot of intricacies with this that it's going to just waste a lot of paint. But I'll do my best, and when it's daytime, we should probably be able to see some kind of finished product. Not finished. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna see what it's gonna be at that point, okay? Okay, and I am all out of paint, so it's a little bit patchwork right now, but I'm working on it. Let's go find some more paint. All right, I've managed to find a handful of flowers, not a whole lot, but I also stumbled upon this rock node here, and I think this is a really good rock node to take advantage of because it's on a flat area and there's a large amount of rocks. So I'm gonna take advantage of that while the paint is crafting. Oh, and I just realized I have to reconvert this back into a uh, drill vehicle. <laughs> All right, let's get mining. All right, so I have finished breaking down the whole area and I've broke it. Look, it's already like instantly another full container. My refiner cannot keep up with this. Look, we got two full resource collectors that are waiting to be refined so I can pick up the rest of this stuff. So in the meantime, I just checked and I have 50 paint now. So I'm going to go ahead and try to paint up the rest of this stuff while our refinery is going. And uh, hopefully I'll have enough to actually get it looking somewhat orderly. All right, I've gone through all the paint and it's pretty much mostly painted as far as the outer materials, but uh, I wasn't able to get everything, obviously, as you can you can clearly see all the differences everywhere. Um, but I got the whole top painted except for <laughs> these individual pieces. It has been really annoying because the width of this is a single length of paint plus one. So I had to use a whole lot of extra paint just to get this extra line painted. But I think for the most part, other than like the individual pieces, like these awnings, the pistons, the wheels, the pipes and suspension, we're pretty much all painted up. I got the floor black. I got the sides all red. I don't have any of the controller parts or anything like that painted, of course. But I think we're doing well so far. I am still waiting on my refiner to uh, get through all the rods. I still have some more rods left to pick up before we move out of here. But let's go ahead and weld this back onto the vehicle in the meantime. All right, and I think this node is finally cleared. And yes, I have been clearing the rocks underground. I just don't show it in the video because it's kind of boring. But yeah, I keep seeing in the comments people telling me to do that. But just let you know, I have been doing it. Okay, so now we can finally leave. Let's get out of here and uh, find some more paint. So the good thing about the hang tank here is uh, I just, when I run over the hay bots, uh, it automatically picks up their spines. You can see I got, actually got a couple of, no, yeah, I got a couple of spines in here because I ran over a few of them while I was looking for flowers. But I'm actually going to loot these two buildings while I'm here. Oop, I am thirsty. Let's go ahead and eat. Actually, no. Let's not eat, let's drink, because I need to get this stuff out of my inventory, because I'm pretty much primarily a veggie burger guy now, with all the farming I've been doing. So yeah, I am a little bit disappointed with the braking system, to be honest. I may not keep it, because look at this. Is this even any better than me being in the seat, to be honest? Well, now my wheels roll when I'm in the seat, so it's a little bit different. But actually, we can find out if I stand on the seat. All right, so this is how fast I'm sliding without the uh, cactus. And then this is how fast I'm sliding with the cactus. So I'm a little confused on why it seems to really be no difference. You can see the wheels are all off the ground. So I'm just not really, I don't know why this doesn't work. So you have to let me know, should I just get rid of the cactus things? Do you think it's kind of cool to have either way? Just just having that automatic uh, lift? Like, I guess it could maybe add like a stability lift. I don't know. I'm a little bit disappointed in it. It was a really popular request and I was really looking forward to doing it, but the results are just, they're disappointing. All right, I managed to get 43 more paint as well as other loot from the warehouses and nearby there is, oh, I forget where it is already. I I think it's this way by the road. I think there's another scrap town that I'm just gonna get the scrap wood from so I can make some more wood because I am all out of wood. And here it is, right here. Oh, the fresh sign, that's right. I saw a bunch of people recommending that I put one of these fresh signs on my vehicle. I don't know exactly where yet. 
Uh, but let's pick one up at least and add some cool lighting anyway. I actually want some more soil now. I want to make some bigger farms. Okay, so where do I put the... Is a fr This not going to work, is it? If I put fresh right there, is that going to get covered? Is that going to interfere with this? Oh, yeah, that's bad. That interferes with that. Um, unless there was a way... No, I don't think there's going to be an easy way for me to insert it into the wall. I feel like I need to put it above him up here. But it's not really going to be like a fold-away sign or anything. It's just going to be there all the time, which, I don't know, it could work. All right, anyway, I got some paint now, so let's start painting. All right, I am all out of paint again. Um, and one thing I want to address, I've been seeing it like a handful of times in the comments. A lot of people were trying to tell me that these two bearings that I have on the side of the wheels are pointless and don't do anything, but that's not actually true. You can see that um, when that wheel lifts up, this whole axle angles to the side and this wheel stays down, which will allow the uh, wheels to have independent flex on the terrain, w keeping them in contact with the ground when one side lifts up. But you can see if I hook this up into a controller so this bearing has less flex, you can see instantly it's trying to pull this side up because it doesn't want it to flex down like that. And here, if I put this side into a controller too, See, now uh, there is less independence between the wheels and their suspension, but if I take these off so the, uh, the berries can actually flex, now they actually have independent flex. So if there was no bearing there at all and zero flex, then when one wheel compresses, it's going to also lift the other wheel off the ground and that's going to just make it so that I don't have as much ground contact and less traction. So that's why those bearings are super important in this uh, steering system because it allows the suspension to not affect each other as much as if there wasn't those uh, those bearings. All right, so one of the things I'm missing right now for ingredients to keep on crafting, uh, because I'm crafting a whole bunch of tier one wood out of the scrap wood that I got, but I can no longer convert that into tier, oh, I can make some, some tier three wood, but I am all out of ember. And something that uh, the comments made me aware of, apparently that was not a thing in my last survival world, I don't think, is I guess when they did the corn updates, they also did an ember tree update. Okay, I may have been bamboozled. I was under the impression that we could drive through the trees like we could corn. Oh, okay, I guess you can, but it actually takes some, some oomph. I'm not sure if this is gonna be worth it, to be honest. Yeah, that, oh, I'm stuck in the tree. Okay, well, that's a that seems to be a terrible system, actually. That does not work very well. Maybe it's my vehicle, because my vehicle is kind of laggy, that it doesn't uh, detect the collision very well. That could very well be a thing. But I'm just going to get some amber the old-fashioned way. I don't want to glitch out my vehicle. So the last time I was getting ember in this series, I was uh, telling you guys about my music project that I'm working on. I'm going to say right now that nobody has found the channel. It does exist. It has zero uploads on it because it's just there as a placeholder. And I'm going to tell you right now that you're you're not going to find the channel no matter how. I mean, you might find the channel, but there's literally no way for you to know if you found the channel because it's just a channel with the channel art and zero uploads. Like, how are you going to know it's even mine? But it's definitely still going to be a little while before I'm ready to release the music because I have a lot of work to do on the visualizer and I might try to make like a music video for one of the songs instead of just a uh, visualizer video. But I was asking for your feedback on whether or not you would have preferred like a teaser trailer on the uh, channel first before all the songs get released or just release all the songs when they're ready. And most people seem to want uh, the songs to get released as a whole. And I think I was kind of leaning towards that. Anyway, when they're ready, they're going to get released and I'll announce it here. But I figured as a thanks for all the awesome supports that you guys have been showing towards this uh, musical adventure of mine, I figured I'm going to give you a very, very short snippet of two songs that I'm planning on releasing on the EP. So I'll give you a little bit of taste of one of the lighter songs and a little bit of taste of one of the heavier songs so you can kind of get a feel for the range of what my music has on this EP at least. So while I knock down these burned trees in the dark, enjoy a little preview of some metal music that I made.
All right, I am all done harvesting for the night, and you may notice there is one little new thing. I have a sign right here that says open. So this is actually on a bearing, so when I get in the seat, it'll actually rotate around, so it says closed on the outside instead of open. But it's just something that you can't really see happen because it happens so fast. But uh, if you look really closely, you can see that... Uh, it, hold on a second here. Let me get in. There we go. You can see it turning over there. So yeah, it, it says open and closed, even though when it's closed, it's literally the whole thing is closed, so you can't even see the closed sign anyway, but it's there, all right? Oh, do I have enough paint real quick for the awnings? Da, 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 da. All right, three paint left now. Um, so we were able to make a decent amount of changes, actually. We got to paint pr most of everything, not everything, everything, but almost everything. I want to paint the wheels at some point, but I can't quite afford that yet. But yeah, we painted it up. We added these relatively useless uh, cactus brakes. Thanks for the suggestion. I, w I already planned on doing it before I was getting the suggestion, so it's not your guys' fault. It was going to happen whether or not you suggested it. I didn't realize it was going to be that pointless. So what do you think? Keep them or take them away? Repurpose the pistons for something else, maybe? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, we still have the entire roof of this thing up here to put stuff on. So let me know if you have any ideas on what you would like to see up here. I am open to all suggestions. That is something to do. In the next episode, I'm probably going to plant maybe my final crop of broccoli and pineapple. And hopefully, we'll be able to get some new weapons with those. Yeah, so leave some feedback down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.